This is the Yance of the meal. It's the main course. And instead of Bernie, Bernal, don't, I know, my Spanish isn't great. It's just not, you know, I wasn't paying attention when I was younger, but I was paying attention to the flavor in the kitchen. So I'm gonna give you Bernil, but with lamb this year. And you can still get that golden crispy chicharroni top with that sofrito in the middle, that onion garlicky mix with the citrus. I know it's intimidating, but come on, we're gonna jump right into it. To get the skin nice and crispy, equal parts baking soda and salt. So, you're gonna take your salt, you're gonna put it everywhere. Get it all in there. Don't worry, Mama Johnson, don't worry. I know you're looking at this video, my mom's looking at this video, and she's saying I'm putting all the salt on it. Don't worry, we're gonna wash it all off. Don't worry, it's gonna rub it all around. Get it in every area, all right? The salt and the baking soda is gonna extract all of the water out of the fat. You can do this with beef, anything that has that fat top. Now, some tips here, these blue marks, that, those marks are just known that it, comes, it came from the plant. That's what these blue marks are. I've cut some of them off, but it's just ink, it cooks away, it's edible. So I'm gonna stick this in the, in the fridge for one hour, and then we're gonna roll this lamb up with the sofrito inside. Yo, where's my coquito? Oh, yo, let me go get my coquito. Yo, somebody's messing around with me. Let me get my coquito right here. Come on, now you know the holiday season without coquito. And as you keep cooking, the glass keeps getting bigger. Later. All right, so look, I just ripped it off. Gonna bring it over here, pat it dry, nicely dry. Then we're gonna put our, get some nice parchment paper. Get some little bowls to hold the end so they don't roll up on you. And we're gonna flip this lamb over right here. Oh, look how beautiful and fresh that is. The freshness of the lamb. Some salt, a little salt there. That sofrito, we're gonna, you wanna get that sofrito in every area, okay? If you don't feel like your spoon can get it in there, get your hands in there, get it in there. Now we gotta tie. We're talking about tying up this lamb. So you need some butcher twine. And the reason why you wanna use some butcher twine is it gonna allow for the lamb to cook nice and evenly? It's the holiday season, you can get everybody involved. You can do it yourself. I'm gonna show you a quick, easy way. So take the parchment paper, and you're gonna roll, right? And you wanna to try to roll it. You might make a little mess, all good. That's gonna help you roll it really nice, okay? Then, you're gonna take your butcher twine. We're gonna go this way. Now listen, I haven't done this in a long time. We're gonna come in the middle like this. And you're gonna, you're gonna do the loop around the bottom. Here, okay, pull it tight. And then you're gonna do another loop from the opposite side, and you're gonna come underneath. All right, so you come underneath with the first one here. Under, 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 under. Ooh, we got under. Where are you? And then, make sure you get under there. Get under there. And then you're gonna tie it. If you're a Boy Scout, Girl Scout, you could do that fancy slip knot. If not, you could just tie it like your shoes. So that's one tie. You got that excess string. You're gonna come under the bottom again. Make sure you get it under the bottom. You want it nice and tied. Come under the bottom again. Loop it under. Got that slit knot. Come around again. And in. Boom. Uh, but it's a slit knot. You can pull it tight. You got this excess here. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. All right. Now you got that excess piece here. Come on the bottom the other way. Pull it tight. This one's simple. You can tie this one like a shoe. Okay, and you got those three points. One, two, three, all even. Okay, all nice and even. Tie this one like a shoe. Button it up. You can come around again. If, if let's say that corner right here, my corner right here is not tight enough, come around again. So this is really all the work, right? The sofrito you've done, the lamb, you just put some bacon powder and soda on the skin so it could be crispy. The hardest part of this 
is literally tying it up so it can roast nice and even. And who doesn't like to tie it? Maybe you have a, such a big family, you need four or five of these. You can have different people tie it up and see who tied it up the best. So I'm gonna throw this in the fridge for 24 hours, cause I got time, but that's what holiday cooking is all about. You're cooking for days, you got your coquito, you made your sofrito, and it's gonna be really good. When you throw it in the oven, you throw it in the oven at 325 degrees for three hours, the skin's gonna be crispy, it's gonna be juicy in the inside. Trust me, trust me, trust me. What we all been waiting for, the Yance of the table. I told you, let the oven do the work. Look how nice and crispy the skin is. Just pull back those strings. It's so nice and crispy. Mm. You can cut down right here. Oh man, look. Where's Jay-Z when you need him? <coughs> Wish you had a fork. Oh, you still, oh, look at that. Look how tender it was. It's just falling off. And then you can get some of that arroz con gondules right here. Put that right on the plate. We're gonna call this sofrito lamb, parini style, with arroz con gondules. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. It's gonna be amazing. And just keep coming, just keep cooking with me on a JJ Christmas, because it's amazing bringing my family into your home and keeping up my Afro-Latino traditions at the table. Mm. That's good. That's really good. That is amazing. If you want a slice, get one now. Look how tender that is. It's crazy how tender this is. Woo! Crazy. That's Beautiful.